Hello Gunpla fans and fellow otaku. Um, this is going to be an unboxing of my very first Japan crate. Um, it's a monthly subscription box. They have all sorts of Japanese goodies inside. Um, three different levels uh, that you can choose from. There's the mini, the basic, and the premium. This is the premium and uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Um, the first thing that they give you is a nice little card printed on like cardstock, glossy paper, with um, all the different items that will be in your box. The mini, the original, and the premium. It also has a nice little comic book explaining um, Let's see, in this one it says there is a candy trade show in Japan that they went to. So, that's kind of cute. Lots of uh, do-it-yourself candies. Um, for those of you who don't know, do-it-yourself candy is kind of like candy that you have to build or mix water with or milk sometimes. Or you can paint it, mold it, so it's kind of fun. Um, this one here is the animal pops uh, you mold different shaped animals and I think it's supposed to be like a gummy kind of maybe it's a lollipop might be a hard candy so that's pretty cool and it shows you different ways you can mold your animal pops next is uh, Krejci Colors Animal Do-It-Yourself. This one you make uh, different gummies and you can paint them uh, different colors here. It shows you a little color mixing guide. So that's cool. Um, and of course, since they are, of course, Japanese candies, all the instructions are in Japanese. So, there you go. Still pretty cool, though. I like it. This one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll probably do videos on all of these, just little mini-reviews. Uh, let's see. Pocky. This one is... Um, Otona Milk. Otona Milk. So I'm assuming it's like... Uh, it's going to have the milk chocolate on the outside, and then I think it's got like a filling in the biscuit, so it's one of the premium Pocky. Let's see, now, this here is, uh, Moninaga Choco Peanut Balls. Looks like, uh, just chocolate covered peanuts, to be honest. Cool, cool. Although it does say chocolate cracker. So maybe it's like a hard peanut butter. Let's see what happens there. This is liquid mixing candy. Interesting. Grape flavored. Looks like you can mix. Oh, there's three different flavors. When you mix them together, you can make different kinds of flavors. Interesting. Uh, Ramune, strawberry, and lemon. Okay. This is for one piece. Fifteenth anniversary. I think this is like a trading card with gum. That's cool. That's interesting. I can feel there's like a tray in here. There's some gum tablets or something. Cool. Alright. Every Burger Chocolate Biscuits. So, I think... The burger patty's probably chocolate. 
and then the bun looks like some sort of cookie. Well, that's cool. I wonder if the... Because it looks like there's cheese or mustard on it. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a cream or something like that. Doremon? Doremon? No? Do... I can't read Japanese. Which one is this? I'm trying to look at the... The uh, guide here. I don't see it on here. Oh, there it is. Zoo Gummy Do It Yourself. Zoo Gummy. Grape and lemon flavor. Adding various mixes. Stir it with water. And then. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. So you make like your own little gummy. Okay. This one. Ah, that's the Dorimon. Dorimon Choco Balls. They look like they're probably going to be very similar to uh, some like a, the koala cookies, maybe. Prepared shredded squid. I think I've actually tried this before. There was an Asian market in the college town I used to live in. And um, it was actually pretty good. It's not very fishy or anything. I'll do a video of that one for sure. Just because it's kind of weird. And people like the weird stuff. And last. Ooh, that's very heavy. Uh, Pokemon apple sparkling drink. Apple drink. Cool. It's even cold from being outside. Alright. So, um, originally I had only signed up for this one uh, box, but uh, they were really slow to get it out to everyone um, because of the dock strikes that were going on out on the west coast um, it was really slowing down a lot of companies actually uh, which was I guess their point you know. um, yeah so they have finally gotten everything back uh, the way this is supposed to work if you're interested in subscribing to them is as long as you pay for your subscription, your first month's subscription, before the end of the month, you will get the next month's crate, which should ship out on the 5th of every month. So, if you order by the 28th of February, you will get the March crate, if that makes sense, which should ship out on the 5th of March. This one just shipped out very recently. It was earlier this week it got here within a couple days so very fast delivery um, so their their service is excellent they kept everyone who had subscribed previously up to date about how the strike was affecting their shipments and uh, they, they sent several newsletter emails about that they said that they regret that they weren't able to put any extras to make up for the delays into this box but um, they promised to put in extras in March and April's box uh, to anyone who has previously subscribed so that's cool um, when I ordered this one the subscription it was thirty dollars and that's debited from your account right away so if you use a credit card or a debit card it's right away then I canceled because I didn't want the whole subscription I just wanted to try it but then when they said they were gonna put extra stuff in in March and April I was thinking well I'll see how it goes especially since um, you know this was delayed 
and I wanted to give them a fair shot, but um, yeah, so they tempted me back with those extra freebies that they're promising. So I decided to uncancel. But um, yeah, so if it's something that you just want to try, you know, um, you can get uh, the mini here comes with, you know, this month it comes with these four treats here. And the mixing candy is a fun little do-it-yourself thing. You mix the flavors and stuff. Um, the original, you're going to get everything in the mini. And then they give you at least one uh, do-it-yourself candy in that. And then if you go to, for the premium, you get everything, obviously, this is before. Plus you get a drink and some extra stuff. So that was cool. I think it's well worth it, you know. Uh, 30 bucks to have this shipped, you know, monthly. That's actually not a bad deal considering all the stuff you're getting. And these are really big kits. Little, I mean, as far as what you're actually getting as far as candy goes, I don't know if it's worth it. But just the activity involved in putting things together and the novelty of it, I'd say it's, it's well worth it. Um, as far as taste goes, I don't know yet. We'll try that later. So I'll do a video of that um, soon. Probably go through and review each one individually. Excuse me, it's about uh, 12.30 here and I'm a little after midnight, getting kind of tired. But anyway, yeah, so I'm starting to ramble. Um, like I said, links in the description for Japan Crate. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Until next time, happy building. And happy snacking. Bye.